internet it's ali again how am i doing today oh my gosh internet thank you so much for asking okay let's see i sort of kind of maybe just i made my relationship official with my bf i really couldn't be more excited that me and joey are officially a couple you guys can keep a secret right because this is my first official relationship that's scary i know like don't get me wrong i've had you know plenty of dates before like hundreds and thousands even Okay, more like two dates, but you know, that was different. They were crushes and this is an actual relationship and when I go to school tomorrow, it's gonna be as someone's girlfriend. But it's chill, because it'll be like totally easy and not like a life scarring experience, right? Right guys? So I'm thinking I'll roll up to school looking so cool and casual, like what, did something happen? Everything in my life is totally normal and I'm not freaking out inside about anything. And just then, hot Joey glides in like a smooth James Dean cross with a sexy emo model vampire punk and sweeps me off my feet. No, really, I'm not exaggerating. He literally sweeps me off my feet. As I am safe and warm in his arms, he heroically carries me to my locker. Which is awesome because I hate using my legs for like anything. Everyone is so jealous of our passion. They're all whispering things like, they're perfect together, and she's perfect, and I wish I could be in a relationship this perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. As he sets me perfectly down at our lockers, he looks deep into my eyes and says, how's your weekend? And I'm all, it was good, but I don't know what possibly came over me. I just completely randomly got this tattoo of the word four on my arm. And he says, this is crazy. I also just completely randomly got a tattoo, but mine is of the word ever. So forget that they even make the word forever. Two people getting tattoos of single words with no context in the same weekend? I mean, come on, it's fate. We're so overwhelmed that we have no more words. We both say the words, we have no more words, leaving only one option, we kiss. And the kiss is so miraculous that time stands still. Okay, technically time doesn't stand still because realistically that's not a thing, but we are such amazing kissers that the entire school freezes in place to watch us kiss. It starts to rain like in a movie, but it's not regular raindrops, it's rose petals that float down from the sky. Okay, actually, the rose petals fell because the janitor was cleaning up an assembly about flowers, but still, it's so romantic. Then, a movie producer runs up to us and asks us for the rights to our story. He's already made the poster. It's called The Greatest Romance Ever, starring Ali and Hot Joey. An old-timey newspaper boy runs in and yells, Extra, extra, the greatest romance ever, starring Ali and Hot Joey, is the highest grossing film of all time. We immediately receive the Nobel Prize for love. We're looking around and everyone is hugging and kissing each other because our relationship is so epic, so awesome, and so undeniable that it has inspired everyone in the world to be more loving. The people yell, All wars have ended, and the world is at peace. And my very first relationship goes down in history as the relationship that saved mankind. Now that's a good first day of your first official relationship, right? <laughs> I'm not secretly terrified that it might be different. Like... So like I roll up to school and I'm like, everything in my life is totally normal and I'm not freaking out inside about anything. <laughs> And just then, Joey glides in looking perfect, and I leap into his arms so he can carry me over to my locker. Except that he couldn't care less about me, and he literally isn't even looking at me. So I follow him to our lockers using my dumb legs I hate walking on, and everyone is whispering, He's so out of her league. And they'll probably be broken up by the end of the day. And perfect. I mean, doomed. We're at the lockers and I go, hey, I don't know what came over me. I just completely randomly got this tattoo of the word four on my arm. And he says, this is crazy. I also just completely randomly got a tattoo, but mine is of the word never. Not only is that so sad, but for never isn't even a thing. I go in for the kiss, but it comes out so messy and gross that time stands still. Because it's like watching a car crash. In this frozen, horrible moment, it starts to rain again. This time, it rains garbage. Literal garbage.
That janitor really did not like the way I kiss. Then a gross movie producer steps in and wants the rights to our story. For a horror movie? A Nobel Peace Prize is immediately given only to Joey for putting up with such a horrible garbage monster for more than five minutes. All the smartest and hottest girls fall immediately in love with Joey, and I'm left in the dust as the person who almost ruined relationships for everyone. Forever! Oh boy, I think I'm gonna calm down about this in a pile of donuts. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Homies, I'm back. I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is that going to school as an official couple for the first time was totally chill. And the bad news is, is that no one made a movie about me and I was like, are you kidding? You don't want this gold? Oh, and also actually let the record show that I am in fact a really good kisser. Later guys. Do you know about Jen Riker? I mean, I'm pretty sure all the guys are talking about her right now. All the teenage boys. What do you think? I think she's super cute. Yeah. And what else? Why are you filming me? <laughs> Look at your, your blown, run! Save your life, It's just a hat. It's just a hat.